Hello friends, now moving towards the next question of straight line method in which we will learn how, to, how the treatment of depreciation will be done, how a machinery account will be prepared when there are more than one machinery are given. In our previous question we have discussed about just a single machinery but in this question we will learn that there are more than one machinery in the hand of the entrepreneur. Okay, so here the question states that R. Kanitkar purchased a machinery by the check for rupees 1 lakh on 1st July 2015. Another machinery, see here in the question, another machinery, your first machinery is your M1 for rupees 1 lakh and the another machinery that is your M2 is for rupees 60,000 on 1st January 2016 and it was on 1st July 2015 so it means the depreciation is also to be discussed separately. Depreciation is charged at 10% per annum by the straight line method. Accounts are closed on each year on 31st December. You are required to show it in the machinery account and the balance sheet. In the previous question we have done machinery account and the depreciation account but here we are required to show balance sheet as well. Okay. So now friends let us solve the question for that we are required to prepare the prescribed format. So here I am uh, making the format and uh, please you guys go through with the question and Mark the important points, write down those points in your notebook and after that prepare the format so that we can make the solution. So friends, here I have prepared the format where with the red one is your machinery account where we are required to show the depreciation, the treatment of the machinery but, uh, separately for each and everything happened and apart from that in the balance sheet we are required to show the as uh, the balance of the machinery at the final okay because in the balance sheet we are required to show just only uh, the purchase and after that deducting the depreciation amount from that but in the machinery account we are required to show the balances as well right uh, year after year so friends here i have prepared the asset column a little wider than the liabilities because in this question there is no such use of liabilities otherwise the format should uh, consist of equal length of your assets as well as liabilities okay okay so now let's start with the question with the solution which states that you are on January uh, sorry on July 1st 2015 2015 July 1st you have purchased your machinery first so we will write it as two bank and in bracket M1 okay amount to rupees 1 lakh okay so is that there is any other transaction in 2015 no okay so with this we will close 2015 as well by finding out by computing the depreciation on December 31st right okay so by depreciation bracket M1 it will be your as if it was your 10% per annum. So what will be the amount? 1 lakh into uh, 10 by 100 into 6 by 12. Okay. So the amount will be your 5000. Right. Okay. Apart from that your next step will be your finding out the balance CD. By balance CD. For that we are required to total both the sides which is your rupees 1 lakh and 1 lakh the maximum is 1 lakh okay now subtracting 5000 from 1 lakh we will get 95000 as your balance which we will gonna transfer to the next year which is your year 2016 January 1st to balance BD and it is your 95000 okay Coming towards the next year, uh, on the credit side, it will be your 2016, December 31st. By depreciation. And what will, uh, what will be the depreciation on machinery first? It will be your 10,000. And 10,000 is your uh, 1 lakh 10% because it is your straight line method. 
Okay, apart from that, in our question, it was given to us that on 1st January, we have purchased a new machinery and we will write down it as M2. So, to bank M2 rupees, what was the costing, uh, costing of that machinery? It was 60,000, right? Okay, so on December 31st, your depreciation will not be written on the amount column. Okay, why so? Because you are required to uh, write down the complete amount in the column okay so what we will do is your by depreciation being two machineries are there we will show it as m1 and m2 on m1 your depreciation was 10000 and on m2 being 60,000 on 1st January, it means you are required to calculate the depreciation for complete year. So, it will be your 6,000, 60,000 into 10% and the total will be written outside. That will be your 16,000, okay. So, now uh, December 31st by balance CD, what will be the balance? M1 and M2. For M1 the balance will be 85,000 and for M2 your balance will be 60,000 uh, 60, minus 6,000 is your 54,000. Okay, so adding both the amount will get 9,000 and it is your 1,39,000. Okay, so if we will total both of these we will get... 1,55,000 1,55,000 Okay, now transferring this balance to the next year which is your year 2017 January 1st to balance BD being two machineries are there we are required to show it separately for M1 it is your 85,000 and for M2 it is your 54,000 Okay, so uh, the total is your rupees 1,39,000 and here it will be 2017 December 31st by depreciation first of all. Is there the machinery was sold? No. Okay, so it means the depreciation is to be charged for the complete year and which is your for, for first machine rate is your 10,000 and second one is your 6,000. So the total is 16,000 and now calculating the dep, uh, the balance the, on the last date by balance CD. What will be your balance for M1 and M2 as well? For M1 it is your 75,000 and for M2 it will be your 48,000. Okay, so the total will be 123 thousand right okay now again totaling both the sides we will get yes it is your verified 1,39,000 and 1,39,000 again transferring this to the next year and with this our machinery account is complete because in our machinery account we were required to show the depreciation the uh, the treatment for three years are 2015, 16 and 2017. Okay, now coming towards the balance sheet. In the balance sheet, how will we start? We are required to write down it as, first of all as if we are, uh, we are here for the machinery. So, machinery as on 31st December 2015 right first of all on 2015 the total is 1 lakh right so 1 lakh minus your depreciation or in the first year depreciation was 5000 we will write down the total in the outer column with 95,000 now as on 31st December 2016 your machinery is machinery amount to 
95,000 plus 60,000 the total will be your 1,55,000 and subtracting the depreciation the total depreciation is your 16,000 right and we will write down the balance it is your 1,39,000 in the outer column similarly as on 31st December 2017 it is your machinery account the ba whose balance will be your 1,39,000 and subtracting the depreciation you will get and your, here your depreciation is again 16,000 the balance remains to you is 1,23,000 right okay with this your this question is also complete where you were required to prepare the machinery account as well as the balance sheet in case you were given to prepare the depreciation account so we have already discussed how to prepare the depreciation account in case of your simple question that is when depreciation is credited to the assets account and in case of straight line as well we have discussed how to prepare the depreciation account it is very simple because each year's depreciation has to be transferred in the PNL account that is your profit and loss account. So friends go through with the, uh, the previous class for the depreciation account and till here we have discussed the, uh, the machinery account as per straight line method, the depreciation, the balance sheet. Ho uh, hope you guys are clear with the concept of these three accounts and how to calculate the rate of the depreciation in both the methods. Okay friends, so for further classes, for the uh, sequential studies, please download our app. Do not forget to download our app, Scholars Learning. And in case you have already downloaded our app, hope we are able to make your studies simple and easy. Thank you.